Hi guys, so this is the Audi SQ2 in what is a stunning color, uh, the Quantum Grey. Now this specific car does have the SQ2 pack, which means it consists of the kind of Nero black front grills, uh, the larger wheels, and also the Quattro kind of accents on the side of the car. The base price for one of these is around about 36,000. But once you start to spec in a load of options, the price goes up pretty significant. Now, with regards to what we have in this car, we are running a two litre turbocharged engine, which pushes around 300 horsepower in the SQ2, which means it will get you from zero to 60 in literally only 4.8 seconds. Now, for this being a compact SUV and almost kind of a multi-purpose car that does everything that you want um, with regards to taking kids to school, going to places quickly, looking good, um, I think as an overall package, it's a really nice car. I think it's a little bit confused in the sense of what it's trying to be, in the sense that it almost feels like an S3 or a Golf R that's kind of been jacked up a little bit. But either way, from a driving perspective, it is great fun and it definitely, definitely delivers on the speed element. If we take a look at the interior, I'll show you the rear first. So you have this really kind of nice Nappa leather in here, which looks absolutely stunning. Um, it has relatively decent leg room. I've got both seats as far back as they go, so kind of you know, it, it does, you have a lot more leg room than that. Um, from the front, we do have the usual, the usual stuff that you would expect from Audi with regards to the virtual cockpit, the nav, uh, which obviously are part of the tech pack, so you need to kind of spec that in. We've got the climate control, uh, we've got an S-Tronic gearbox running seven speed. Uh, we've also got the kind of navigational wheel and all the other stuff that you'd expect to have with this. Uh, different driving modes include uh, efficiency, comfort, dynamic and individual and if i give you a quick little rev because not only is this a brilliant little car for carrying people around obviously but if we go into dynamic mode we turn off the traction control we also have the ability to do this so we get a launch control overall this is a really cool car and the seats are very, very comfortable.